Hi, you're on Bible Answers. Hello. Hello. Oh, my question is... First of all, sir, if you're listening to the TV, it's going to delay you. So okay. you probably want to turn your TV down and then just talk to me on the phone. Can you do that? Yes, I can. Uh, in, in the scriptures, um, there is a passage that says it repented God that he, remade, that he, he made man. Yes. And, and I would like to know a little bit more about that. Okay. I believe that's Genesis 6. Let me look. Uh, yes. Uh, that's Genesis 6 and verse 6. Uh, I'll, I'll start with verse 5, and, and we'll, we'll get a little context. And this is a fantastic question. And God saw the wickedness of man was great on the earth. And every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from off the face of the earth, both man and beast and creeping thing, and the fowls of the earth, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But then we have one more verse that we got to get to, that we got to tie into all this. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So the word repenteth. Uh, a lot of times when we think of the word repent, we think of the old sawdust trail preachers with their Bible in the air and 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 thumping down hellfire and brimstone. Repent, you sinners. You know, we think of that. Um, but then when we see that God repented, we scratch our heads and say, wait a minute, I didn't think that God ever sinned, right? Are you there? Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, so the question is, did God, uh, did God sin? No, God didn't sin. So, um, when, when we have... The question here, what does it mean, God, it repented God? The word repent means it's a change of mind that leads to a change of action. So when God says, or when the Word of God says it repented God, God says, man, I wish I hadn't done that. Uh, so I'm going to change direction. I did make man, and I did uh, make man multiply, but now I am going to drastically change that. I'm going to take man off the earth until he found Noah that found grace in the eyes of the Lord and Noah and his family were saved. Uh, so that's what it means that it repented God that he had made that. Does that help you? Uh, it does in, in some respects because... Uh, but I, I, I'm, I'm confused about Noah only because when he got off the ark, uh, um, uh, 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 sin was was there with his with his family. Yes. And and I don't understand that either. Okay. I mean. That's you know what you're asking fantastic questions and I appreciate it. Now the Bible says that Noah found something in the eyes of the Lord. What was that? Favor. No, that's not what it says. Grace. He found grace. Now grace is favor, but it's very important to understand what grace is. Grace is unmerited favor. Okay, and the Bible teaches that there is one way that we can access grace. And that's found, you know, and this obviously is in progressive revelation. We find this out a little bit later. But as we look back at the thing through all of revelation, you know, all of the Bible, we have a little more understanding what it meant that God, or that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. In Romans chapter 5, uh, I'll, I'll read verses 1 and 2. Um, let me get there real quick. There we are. Therefore being justified, declared to be righteous, 
by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. So, Noah found grace. How does one get grace? One gets grace through faith. When Noah came off the ark, yeah, he got drunk, and yeah, he shouldn't have got drunk, and yes, there was sin there, no doubt, and there was sin in, in his kids as well, and that's true, but the Bible says Noah found grace, unmerited favor. How did he get that? He got that through faith. How do we know that Noah had saving faith? Well, one of the ways we know is, is that God told him to take... Um, take seven of the clean animals so that they could offer sacrifice. When when Adam, or I'm sorry, when Noah got off the boat, one of the first things he did, you only have a few animals left on the planet, but one of the first things he did is offer sacrifice. We find in the Old Testament that uh, sacrifices, even before the Levitical system, sacrifices pointed to the um, the universal truth that it is the innocent blood that will cover the guilt of sin. And so Noah had that faith. Noah believed that. And just like the Bible says a little bit later for Abraham, um, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. Noah believed God. And when you believe God, and take him at his word, especially when it comes to the uh, the redemption process and and, uh, and uh, uh, sacrifice and that sort of thing. Um, that's where you get grace. And so Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. He was the only guy out there, him and his family, that still believed the old stories that were passed down from Seth and his uh, and his crew there. Does that help a little bit? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. I appreciate your, your time. Hey, fantastic question. Is this the first time you called? Yes, it is. Well, I'm so glad that you called. Have a good evening. Take care now. All right. Bye.